Six, a local Christian school is at the center of a controversy after a number of employees, including four teachers, were fired. The new pastor of the Crossroads Christian Church maintains that those fired had religious beliefs not in line with the teachings of the Evangelical Church. Most of those fired were Catholic. The Empire Bureau Chief Rob McMillan is live in Corona with details on this controversy. Rob? A church for everyone. That was the slogan here at Crossroads Christian Church, but perhaps things have changed. We're told that several teachers were fired because they did not fall in line with the new pastor's line of thinking. They were making a mockery of other people and their religions, and this went for the Lutherans, the Episcopalians, the Catholics. Um, and they were very demeaning. Mary Montoya is a former teacher at this private church school in Corona, which is part of Crossroads Christian Church. Even though the church's born-again teachings differed from Montoya's Catholic beliefs, when she started teaching here nine years ago, she was told it wouldn't be a problem. But then came Pastor Chuck Boer. This is video posted on YouTube in which Boer explained his goals. We are making sure our staff at Crossroads Christian School is 100% Christian. When Chuck came in and became the pastor, he wanted to bring the church and the school together, which at first I thought was a great thing. But Montoya says that's when Boer made a number of requirements for the church school staff, including baptism by immersion. In other words, baptism underwater. That was where we ran into the problem. Boer calls it level four living. This memo outlined everything that is now required of the church school staff. I told them that I did not agree with everything on the uh, level four of living. Um, and so what happened then? They told me I wouldn't have a position available the next year. We're told Montoya is one of at least 11 employees who were dismissed because of their beliefs. Some parents, like Robin Resner, have pulled their kids out of the school entirely over the controversy. Resner says she believes the church is much less tolerant than it was several years ago. That's part of why we were comfortable there. We knew there were teachers from many different faiths, so that was a comfort to us, is that they obviously didn't have a doctrine that was so specific and condemning, which it is now. Again, this is a private institution, and they do have the right to decide who, in fact, teaches here. We tried to interview Pastor Boer to talk to him about his thoughts on these policies. We were told by his assistant that he was too busy to speak with us today. Live in Corona, Rob McMillan, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.